Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Acquired. Re required. <laughs> uh, where I last left off, you know, we began our little... Our investigation, our... Our mission to actually infiltrate, to, to uh, investigate the World's Fair and find out what the those um, robot plans were all about, basically. The bit that we found last time. And kind of camping out in this little uh, trailer with our no mission control. Oh, look at that! Yes, yeah, so we you know that we had like a scale like a one to one thousand scale dog robot instructions. See, so you have this massive dog robot. So we want to go to the Chateau Le Roche. See if I can go through here, though. Hmm. The entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. Camera, some sort of like photo booth. It says Chateau La Roche service entrance. This is where we want to be. Let's Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. But I do prefer the delicate grace involved with volcano diving. <laughs> Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Although I'd rather be enjoying the quiet safety of skydiving, <laughs> as long as it doesn't get me in touch with nature without a parachute. I imagine he's got some a few a few different lines of dialogue. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, what? but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately... It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. Doing his job. So we don't actually have... Like my father used to say, if you can't say something to someone's face, use the telephone. It's good wisdom. We do have this camera here, I'm not sure... Well, this is, yeah, this is for... Me any good. Well, this here is just... You know, it's for taking pictures of the keys. I'm not, I doubt we can actually use it. We do have this ID maker. To make an ID card, I first need to put a photograph into the insert photo slot. Or can I actually just take a picture of myself? That won't do me any good. That won't do. Yeah, we're gonna have to, I think, find another way to get, get a get a photo done. Oh, actually, wait. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I just realized. I'm pretty sure like like this here is some sort of photo booth. I'm pretty sure. It looks like some sort of yeah photo booth camera. Oh, look at that. Photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Pajama man. It says free. It says free. Uh, hmm? Young viewers who can't read. Which honestly, it you know. Free photos. Playing these games back in the day, you know, a lot, imagine a lot, a lot of the uh, kids playing couldn't actually read. Dentist. What? France. Oh, so I guess it's like one of those weird oh, things where it's like you can, you know, you can adjust. None. Dentist. France. Are None. So that's the the background. Cashier. Balance. Jockey. Dishwasher. Fisherman. R Waitress. Nice. Arena. I don't France. think the actual dentist. None. <laughs> Imagine we'd probably get done if Arena. we uh. 
France. I can like, imagine like if we didn't do any background, they might get suspicious. That's not really my best sign. Let's see how that let's see how this works. If I show him the, fo the photo, let's see if he uh, believes it's us. Like, I realize I need I need, I, I know I, I need an, in your photo album. an actual ID, but okay, so he, he didn't seem too suspicious of it. Actually, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Jump. Helicopter. Cashy. Jerk. Imagine like. Waitress. Root. Chuck. Reginald. I don't think, I don't think this name really Maurice. matters too much. Let's call ourselves Maurice. There. And like, now I can make every time you play the game really. You know, you might get like a like a randomized job that you they need to to get. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. Fake ID. I expect that this will come in quite handy. I am Maurice. How do you like my ID, sir? Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess, it was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Maurice. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow, have, have, have a good day, yes, mister. Yes, yes. He literally just take our ID from us, like, like he said, keep it on, keep it on file, like. <laughs> we need that, and you know, that's that's our ID, man. We gotta get it back at some point. That's a good looking oven. May I try it, please? Sorry, only a trained chef can operate that oven, and I'm afraid you don't look anything like a chef. That's discrimination, miss. Some rights, I suppose. What <laughs> the heck was that all about? I don't think we have anything... Are there any great culinary moments in Grand Opera? Yes, Jim Hansen and Gretel, where they cook the witch. <laughs> Gretel! Would you have preferred a different ending? No, I would have used a bay leaf and a lot more pepper. Sounds tasty. Well, I'll keep her in mind. This must be the Mr. La Roche. That plant is from the genus Dianea, species D. Mesipula. Common name, Venus flytrap. That is, that, is, that is actually legit what the, um, you know, di Dionysus, yeah. or whatever it is, like, um, that is what, like, the scientific name of a Venus flytrap. I'm pretty sure this is the, where I first learned, this, this game was where I first learned about Venus flytraps. It's kind of cool. Which so I have, um, I actually, last year, I tried growing one, um, though I, it kind of ended in a little bit of disaster, um, I can't actually remember what happened. Like, like, um, because I was growing them from seed, and like, like the, the seed sprouted, and like had a couple of really small plants, but like, I'm not entirely sure. I, I can't remember. Like, uh, I think either I didn't, I bought them too much, too little, or something. Um, but I, I, I do want to try growing them again at some point. I 
This thing, like, I, I, I got them in, like, some sort of, like, little... I think I might have, like, transplanted them too early. I'm not sure. Not, not entirely sure. But I'm back, ah, back with the game. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smellet. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ha! Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instruction. I've created a 1000 to 1 scale fully functioning evil dog bot. I was about to say, like, uh, you know, that's a, we, had a, we had a 1 to 1,000 scale, but that thing is massive. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of oh, course, what? you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. <laughs> People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file to the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! That's actually really evil, man. That's actually really... That's a, that's a, that's a crazy plan. Unleash the dog bot. All the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. <laughs> yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly that you will never find it. That's what you think, LaRoche. Can't turn something off without, without an off switch. off switch. You would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, adieu! I do to you too, Monsieur Deloche. Oh man, look, that's straight up me yeah, in the mouth. Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. Nice uvula. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. <laughs> if I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. Only we could just, you know, just tell the people what's going on. Like, hey, man, like you're, you need to leave this place. Tell everyone. Tell, tell make sure no one comes into this, into this uh, fair. <laughs> ho ho! Roach's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. As we know, there, there was some assembly required. Re required? Oh, man. <laughs> a little, little puzzle here. In this cavity of the dog bot's tooth look like they may lead me to freedom, unless LaRoche knows a good dog bot dentist. This gear is too small. This gear is too small. I wonder where this gear goes. I need a pretty small one now. That did the trick. Like, like presto. Well, I guess it's like they say: the tooth shall set you free. <laughs> so we're in. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop La Roche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. I wonder if it's Monkey Penny. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. 
You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. I think the uh, subtitles were a bit off there, like, uh... I wasn't paying too much attention, but, uh... Pretty sure Spy Fox only said Spy Watch once, but, uh, like... They were, they were written, it was written twice. Just a weird, weird little... thing. So if we want to go get Walter Wireless... Right, so yeah, we're in the, uh, World's Fair now, folks, so that's, uh... I have a lot of places to explore. Kind of wondering. Is it true that the word souvenir is from the French, meaning the act of remembering? Well, I don't really. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I seem to have forgotten. Plausible. Is that um? I think that lady there might have been. Was she the the waitress in a uh, Spy Fox One? Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Nice Have one. Nice day. Thank you. Free admission. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking buff. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called We World. We World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, Whoop. and I'll get you into this We World. I'm in there like swimwear. Heck, that's my life. So is can Walter there? Can he like change size like Ant Man? Because when he was on the table there, like he looked like a, like a little speck. <laughs> he was on. He, then he basically was like the size of our head. I still need to get the evil dog bot's off switch, install it in the evil dog bot, and correctly set the evil dog bot's off switch activation code. It seems like a tough job, but I'm a tough spot. Except yeah, there was definitely one to one thousand, whereas Napoleon Le Roche has basically created a one thousand to one, which I think would mean that. I think that's like mean that means that like. The ideal... Dogbot size, right? If we have the instructions for 1 to 1000, would that then mean that a 1 to 1 would be like... Maybe like yay big? like? Like the size that Walter, uh, I'm trying to do the math in my head. Like, if we have like the the, the instructions for a one to one thousand scale, and that fellow there is one thousand to one, wouldn't that mean that he's like a million times bigger than the instructions we have? Um, probably thinking of the things too much. Let's go talk to this lady. Okay, is that he has B? Would you say you specialized in Swedish or sports massage? I went to the old man that hurts school of massage. Old man that hurts? Why do they call it that? Because of this. <laughs> oh man that hurts! <laughs> oh yeah, your tension is just dissolving away. What can you tell me about that trophy? You don't want to hear about that. Well, all right. If you... It was back in my younger days as the masked she-bear. I used to cut up the ice as a famous ice skater. 
Pretty cool. What else can you tell me about that trophy? I'm very proud of that. <coughs> It was just one of the ones I won back in my younger days as the ice skating champion, the masked she bear. They don't seem to have any business here right now. But I'm pretty sure she was She reminds me of I'm 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 ninety five percent sure that she's uh the the waitress from Spy Fox One. We wanna go to Wii World. We world. It says we world. What's the best part of this job? I don't know. I never give it much thought. Thinking hurts the brain, laddie. I think I understand. The door is locked. <coughs> Those keys went to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Of course, I wouldn't think of touching those. You must be the guard who defends this place. That's classified information, laddie. How did you find that out? You're dressed as a guard and you're defensive. Oh, it's kind I of a bit weird that... The door is locked. <laughs> We're just... yeah, you'd think that we would be allowed in. Let's, um... I guess take... A photo of the keys. Which key should I take a picture of? I think it's at five, right? Key five. Yeah, yeah, that says five. Now we wanna heat the film somewhere. We'll be at, we'll be back, Mister. Now the ice rink. I don't think we've seen any sort of uh, oven yet. Let's explore a little bit. Hello, hello mister. Can we talk to the NPCs? You're all a bunch of NPCs. Some sort of cloning, slow cl food cloning. Welcome to you clone it, where you get two, two, two for the price of one. Oh <laughs> I'm Doll and I'm Lee. Hello, Doll. So nice to have you back where you belong. That's kind of great. Mind if I ask you another question? You just did. Well, ask another. Well then. What other kind of experiments have you done? We tried cloning maple syrup once. It was a sticky situation. We, we don't, don't like to talk about it. I don't think they were in the first game. Like a spy fox. Th the way the way he t talked, he, he kind of. S was talking as if like he was familiar with them, but I don't think they were. I don't remember them being in the first game. So here we have some food, which I imagine something might be something where we can clone the food here. So what brought about this whole food on a stick idea? Well, honey, did you ever randomly stick a stick in your food and think to yourself, I could make this into a profitable business? Not in a while. Do you have pancakes on a stick? Yes, they come with frozen maple syrup on a stick. Would you like some? Absolutely not. I don't touch pancakes unless the syrup is heated to precisely 86.4 degrees. That's the delicious sounding. I'm gonna... Let's head away because we, we don't really have any reason to get any food right now. I don't think... Uh, unless Spy Fox is hungry. Oh man. I do rem I remember seeing this guy... I think I remember seeing this guy. There's also, there's a... Um, he reminds me also, he kind of reminds me of a, what was it? Mermaid Man from Spongebob. Something seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. 
the Cape Cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then, one fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention, and my assistants Goldie and Blow were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not lightly, no. Well, it's impossible to see the target. Hey, Cod, can I borrow those dark goggles? You can't borrow these until I get my lucky clear goggles back. Well, I need these from the the land. Fair staff would, uh, you know, try to, you know, get something for you. Oh man, this is kind of, this is dangerous. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's, how to get out of here, man. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Oh, whoa. Hmm, whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. Aha. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. That was basically, if you remember... That breath analyzer is letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. Hmm, I still can't see what breath is shown on screen. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to see anything. I don't think we can really do anything else. We can look around. Yeah, that's like one of the things that we need to get into, like to shut down the dog bot. Oh man, this is pretty cool. Giraffe having some fun. Let's uh, head back down because it does not seem that there's really. Too much for us to entertain ourselves with at the moment, or too much that's useful at the moment. Like there's rather rather plenty to enter entertain ourselves with, at least. We want some sort of oven. I don't think we've headed. Let's head up here. I say up here because it looks like an elevator. Is this Plat World? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Ooh. Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. It looks like the off switch. It's the off switch. How diabolical of a roach to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose yes, for the ladybug. No the, small feet. The fly child would eat it. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madam Ladybug. Ultimate way of just like getting getting rid of anything is just feed it to a <laughs> Venus fly trap. I think we'll call the video there, folks, because we've uh, done a little bit of exploring, and also I need to uh, use the restroom. <laughs> so uh, it's, oh, I think it's a good time to call the video there. Next time we'll um, continue on. Maybe talk to Wire Walter a little bit. That won't do me any good. <laughs> maybe not. Um, try to get more clues, explore a bit, find uh, and find some sort of a oven where I keep my spy gadgets. to put that key in or, or to put that uh, photo inside but until next time folks that's when it's more let's play spy fox 2 some assembly required until next time liquid out